Hello all, Ankit this side. In this video, we are going to learn about how to replace root volume using EMI. To learn about this topic, we need a EC2 machine, which I have already created a Linux EC2 machine. While practice, if you want to create a Windows machine, you can create a Windows machine. Also. So I have this particular EC2 machine. So first thing what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect to this particular machine. So let's quickly connect to this machine. Now, if I type ls here, I already have two files, file one and file two. I have already created these two files. So we will see that once we are going to create AMI with the help of AMI, when we are going to replace our root volume, you will see these two files there. So good. first of all, let's go to storage tab, select your machine, go to storage tab, scroll down, and here I'm getting the volume ID. This is the current volume which is attached with my EC2 machine. That's the volume ID we have. And here we can go to volumes. Here also I'm able to see that specific volume. Now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to click quickly create AMI. So select your machine, create image. Let's just give the name as self online. Running. No reboot, reboot, reboot enable and click on create. Done. So we are able to create our AMI. So let's go to AMI. The visibility is private, status is pending. This will take some time. We need to wait here. Still showing us as pending. Still taking more time. Now once this EMI is ready, now with the help of this EMI, we can replace our volume. Still taking more. Yeah. Now showing the status as available. Go to our EC2 machine. Select our EC2 machine. Click on storage tab. Scroll down and here we are getting replace root volume. Select image option. Select our EMI and I'm going to check the checkbox where it is going to delete our existing root volume. The default root volume which we have earlier, that one system is going to delete. And click on create replacement task. Scroll down. Here we can go to volumes. Now, right now we are able to see one volume. Now we are able to see two volume. And one volume is in use, other one is in volume and showing us as this will take some time. Still taking more time.
Now our machine is disconnected. We need to wait here. We just refresh this page. This will take some time. Still refresh this page. Still showing the set as available. Now what will have to happen after a few minutes, this particular volume which is in use, this volume system is automatically going to delete. And this volume which we have created right now, system is going to show us status as in use. And here is the new volume ID. Earlier we are able to see this one. We can see here, we have that one. So, Refresh this page. Still taking more time. And even we can go select our machine. We can go to storage. Scroll down. Here also we are able to see the task, the task which we have created right now, the task status is showing us as in progress. Here also we can see the existing volume status detaching. So it means it is in process, but this will take some time. Still showing us as in use the existing volume still in use now our existing volume showing that is available and the new one is showing us in use and after a few minutes system will delete this volume automatically you don't need to delete it manually. Now go to instance. Now you can see here the new one there start attaching. And once this is complete, it's showing us status as successful. Refresh this page. Page. Now it is attached. Now its status is still showing us in process. Now we can try to connect our machine. So we already are connected with Putty. Let's restart the session. But we can't connect to this machine right now because status just keeps showing us as one by two. So that status check will take some time to update as two by two. Even before that also we can connect. But you can see right now we are not able to connect. Connection timeout. Let's refresh this page still status check is one by two sometimes status check will take some time to update but before that we can connect to this particular ec2 machine but still we are not able to connect Still taking more time. Fish. Oh. 
output. Let's again restart the session. Still taking more time. the time it is taking time let's go to volume and you can see here we are just only able to see one single volume the other volume system is littered automatically still taking more time usually it is not taking that much of time to update these chapters but this time it is taking time, so we need to wait. Now you can see here it is showing us as login as. So let's enter our username. To hyphen user, we are able to connect. And the two files which we are able to see earlier, same two files we are able to see here. Okay. So this is how you can replace your root volume with the help of AMI. Thank you all. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.